Today I'm going to try to install the switch panel. As you can see, I've seen, taken a lot of pictures here of uh, how it was before I took it apart. So now it's just a matter of figuring out which of those wires go where here. I think uh, a fair chance with all the pictures, but we'll see if I got all the correction connections in the pictures. I got it connected, but I need some shorter bolts here. The old bolts that are in there were just Philips head, and I want uh, Allen head screws over there, so I have to get some new bolts and maybe I'll trim the gasket a little bit before I install it but I got the connections done that's the main thing I think it's been at least a week since the start of this uh, video you're watching now and we have been sanding and painting and I think you've seen enough of that maybe um, that part is finished that part is finished that's for the tailstock traverse that's finished that's finished that needs another coat um, that one has been sanded down, those have been sanded down, that needs another coat at least, I painted that yesterday. Um, this bracket here needs another coat I think, we'll see when it has cured, I just painted it yesterday so um, the paint seem, seems to kind of, uh, or it, I guess the solvents evaporate and then it gets thinner. After, uh, in about a week, um, painted this piece uh, yesterday. But that definitely needs another coat. Uh, so today we're going to do some more painting, and I bought myself a new brush. Uh, I've gone over from the roller to small paintbrush. Uh, that's the one I used. Yesterday, and this is a little one, bigger one, because the the roller is just too big for these small parts, and, and it soaks up so much paint that just goes to waste. Because it's impossible to keep the roller wet when you don't paint in a week, even if you pack it in plastic it it hardens up so we'll go get to painting now
Here I have a little problem I hope some of you can help me with. It is the oil seals for uh, the apron and the uh, lead screw. They are a kind I can't find. The brand is uh, Victor. Oh, probably difficult to see. They're really old. Um, I need uh, five, six or something of them. And I'll put up a picture afterwards with the, and uh, a list of the ones I need. So we'll see if anyone out there knows how to get uh, the similar uh, oil seals. The seals are metal on the front, on the side, and on the back. And there's a spring seal inside there. You can see the seal where it's worn out there, and then the rubber. I have uh, found uh, something similar in the park catalog, but uh, I have no way to order those. Here in the quick change gearbox we have two more of those oil seals that I need. I haven't taken those out because uh, I'm afraid of them getting more damage than they already are. I'm going to mount the cover on the apron now. First, I'm going to remove that oil seal. It's quite worn, so I'll remove it and clean it. That way it will be easier to remove if I can get a hold of a new ones. I cleaned up the face here as um, good as I can. I'll just do one last clean along here with a razor blade and then I'll clean the edge where I'm going to put sealant on with the thinner. Put the sealant on and then put the cover on and hope that it doesn't leak. The camera ran out of battery yesterday, <coughs> but I got the cover mounted with minor problems. I only had the problem with the oil seal here, but I got that fixed. And I mounted the side glass here. <coughs> I'm not sure if that uh, will be oil tight though, because uh, it doesn't seem to be any pressure against the gasket right here. So maybe it needs some sealant. Um, not sure uh, if I should put on that or not. Uh, we can mount this piece here now. It's for the traverse of the carriage. That has never had any sealant on it and I've had it off before so it should be fine.
I need to uh, cut down the um, wrench here in this bolt. Um, I get these lines here all over that is not painted because the smaller casting doesn't fit perfectly onto the large casting. But uh, I think it, I'll just leave it. If I start painting over here now, then the paint will crack if I take the pieces off again. So I think I'll just leave it like that. Uh, the two clutch housings need some more paint, so that will have to wait. Half nut lever and the uh, direction change. Um, those will have to wait because uh, I'm not finished um, fixing or painting or polishing those levers. The edge up here has uh, lots of uh, drips, but that's okay because there's a small height difference between the top of the apron and the cover and this obviously bolts to the underside of the carriage so it will be a slight gap here and it's good to have the gap smaller so we'll just leave this and I think that's all we can do on this part right now Painted these two pieces, or actually four, since there are two small pieces there to hold the wave wipers. Here's the headstock cover. Needs more work. I painted it uh, once. I was finished with it, but then after I thought I was done, I wasn't happy with the evenness of the top, so. I took sandpaper to it again and started all over again with speckle. It's kind of crowded here, but this is the ship shield. This part up there, I'm going to replace that and then paint it afterwards.